This is how Ukrainian recruits learn to work with a handheld anti-tank grenade launcher. This is the first shooting for them. New soldiers are being trained at a landfill near Vuhledar, where the enemy daily tries to go on the offensive. Practice makes perfect. Ukrainian servicemen are guided by this principle and in between active battles hone their skills on the new American armored personnel carrier Max Pro. They received it a few months ago. The armored personnel carrier has already shown itself in assault operations in the Vuhledar direction. The aerial reconnaissance relaxes and trains here. Soldiers say that many new recruits have joined the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine. Most of them have never encountered military craft, but there are people on the front line who can share their experience. We are already training new guys. We are giving groups to teach them. The first indicator is key. It is motivation. If a person is motivated, then one will learn. It is not something super complicated. The second indicator is if a person used the PlayStation and got used to the joystick then it will be easier for them. The third indicator is my personal. It helped me to gain experience. The fact that I was engaged in orienting as a child. I am good at reading maps, at orienteering. That is, operational drone is much easier for me than running through the forest and looking for some kind of landmarks there. The enemy is trying to attack and carry out offensive operations in the Vuhledar direction around the clock, the soldiers say. They have begun to use a lot of different types of electronic warfare wherever they can do it. It interferes. But you can adapt. We constantly have to adopt. We constantly have to monitor. Because one way or another the enemy uses the same types of UAVs as we do. And therefore it is possible to find clock and space loopholes in order to work actively. A few days ago, the Russian marines tried to break through the defenses and enter Vuhledar. But they were defeated and retreated to its borders. There was an offensive by enemy forces a couple days before. One of our soldiers was killed. We will not forget that. We will take revenge. Our defense is strong. We hold on to the end. We do what we can and what is in our power. We hear their shots as they shoot at each other. It's something I cannot convey. We don't fight like that. Comparing the actions of the Russian occupiers in the Vuhledar direction now and a month ago, Ukrainian servicemen are sure that the spring offensive of the enemy has already begun. As for the actions of the enemy, how they try and try every day, every hour, but their attempts are useless, despite the fact that there are more of them, we are stronger. In fact, the enemy is very interested in this direction, in the Vuhledar direction. For them it is a strategic one because it will be good for their logistics and improvements and for further offensive actions as they think. But no one is going to hand Vuhledar over. Ukrainian servicemen are motivated and ready to defend their land. But the Russian military has not been very motivated lately, the Ukrainian servicemen state. And they add, the idea of an offensive will end in a failure for the Russians. In general, we respond as quickly as possible to any of their breakthrough attempts and stop any of their offensive actions. It doesn't matter if they are mobilized men or their professional army. This simplifies our work to react quickly and not to start a combat. In principle, they try hard to break through, but they are exhausted. They have been fighting for a year now. Today, Vuhledar resembles ruins. All residential buildings in the city were damaged or destroyed by the Russians. About half a thousand civilians still remain in the settlement. People are in basements or shelters almost all the time. They go outside only when volunteers bring humanitarian aid. The Russians have been trying to capture the city for about six months. But up to this day, all their attempts have been in vain. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Anastasia Volkova, Artem Voronin, UATV News.